Can you imagine getting $12,000 worth of parking tickets for parking in a legal spot? Well, that's exactly what Jeremy Scahan says that he got. And he actually fought and contested all of these tickets. So I came to the Bronx to meet with him on the block at Webster Avenue, where he normally gets these tickets. We walked down the street and he took me to the spot right here where he's gotten most of them. In the last two, two and a half to three years, I've gotten about 75 parking tickets in this area. I've challenged them all, but one of them uh, I was convicted on. He eventually had to file a lawsuit with the city appealing this $160 parking ticket. He won that, but he had to spend $300 of his own money just to win for parking in a legal spot. What is this misunderstanding in the parking law? I'm standing on the corner of this legal spot. You can see it behind me. This is legal to park in. This is not. So I had him break it down for me. This curb cut is at a T intersection. In 2009, New York City changed the law so that at T intersections, where there's no painted crosswalk going across the street, there's no traffic light, and there's no always stop signs. It's legal. Which he's done, obviously, many times, but yet he's gotten parking tickets for him. So I asked, why does he continue to do this even though he's getting parking tickets? And he said, not only is it the principle of it, because what he's doing is not illegal, but he said that this is basically a form of taxing people. It really seems like it's revenue generation more than anything. And there's about a half a billion dollars in parking tickets. The Department of Finance is the taxing authority and they're the ones that hear your challenge to a parking ticket. It should tell you something. Now I reached out to the NYPD and they said that yes, this law changed back in 2009 and what they mostly did was train the parking officers because they're the ones normally issuing parking tickets. And he said that they've done an internal investigation and that they found that majority of these summonses for the code of violation were written by police officers. As a result, the department sent a training message to all officers clarifying the rule change and has communicated this to commanding officers and precincts. Are you sure that's a legal spot? I, that I know, like legal. it's almost up on the curve. Uh, I don't, I don't so. know. I would probably pass that spot by. I think that the problem remains with the signs in New York City. They can be so complex that drivers can't understand them. I don't even think the cops understand them half the time. It's a risky game that he's playing, trying to fight the power when it comes to these tickets because he could just get his car towed. That happens all the time in the city. Park in a garage. Yeah, I know, right? Thanks, Tamara.